The blend tool allows us to blend the color or shape of two or more selected objects. Right here, I have a green circle and a blue square. If I select both the object and I go to the object menu, blend and make. As you can see here, the green circle is trying to morph into the blue square. To change the number of the in-between subject, select the blended object, go to object menu, blend and blend options. Over here, you can set the new amount that you like and hit OK. You can also double click on the blend tool icon here to bring out the same blend option menu. And if you want to make an object every specific distance, you can use the third option and set the distance that you prefer. Hit OK and I'll select both the object. I'll use the shortcut key Control Alternate B or Command Option B on Mac. And as you can see here, it will create a new object every 2cm. Something to take note as well, a blend tool can also affect the transparency of the object. Blend tool can also be used to create color palettes. So if you want to have a full spectrum of the colors, left click on the blend tool icon and select smooth color. This way you will get a full range of the colors that you have blended. Another way to use the blend tool, you can select the blend tool icon and left click on the body of the first object and then left click on the body of the second object. But be very careful. Let's say if I use the same method and I try to left click on the top left anchor point here for the first object and then I will left click on the bottom right of the second object. This is what will happen because the top left point here is trying to blend and morph towards the bottom right point here. Do take notes on the arrangement of your objects or shapes when you are blending more than two objects. For example, over here I have arranged my circles to be magenta, blue and green. Meanwhile in the layer, you can see it's magenta, green and then blue instead of green here. So what happened when I try to blend these three objects together? As you can see here, the blue circle will always be blended last because that's how it is arranged in the layer panel. Here's a cool 3D effects that you can achieve using Blend tool. I'll select both my text layer and I'll hit the Make Blend shortcut key, which is Control Alternate B or Command Option B on Mac. And then I'll increase the number of steps All right, now I have two objects here, both with gradients. So I'm going to make a blend using these two objects and I'm going to increase the number of steps so that it looks like as if it's one single object. I'm just going to key in 500. And now with a blended object and with a path, you can actually attach this blend object onto a path. So I'll select my object and also a path Go to Object, Blend, and Replace Spine. And now the blended object is attached to your custom path. I'm going to smoothen the shape by increasing the number of steps. Here's a common problem that you might face when you're trying to attach this blended object onto a path. So let me select both the object and the path. I'll go to Object, Blend, and replace spine. As you can see here, this part is empty. And even if I try to increase the number of objects, it's still not filling this portion of the path. To fix this problem, left click on the scissors tool or press C on your keyboard. And we're going to cut on either one of this path. So I'm just going to left click on this path here and instantly it will break the path and solve the problem. If you want to change the orientation of the triangle, select your object and left click on the blend tool icon to bring up the blend options menu and set to align to path. This will change the orientation of the triangle to align along the path. And if you want to inverse the way that it's pointing, you can select the object, go to object, blend and reverse front to back. At times, you might want to expand your object to do some minor fixing. You can go to Object and Expand 
and ungroup it by pressing Ctrl Shift G or Command Shift G. And now you can readjust the position of each individual shape, but you won't be able to access the blend option anymore after you have expanded your shape. 